Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Love Frenzy. In the first few casual dates prior to any discussion of exclusivity or commitment, both men and women are guilty of blowing off a romantic interest. Do you really owe someone a letdown response if you're only in the getting to know you stage? If one person expresses interest in another date, the answer is yes. If the chemistry was lacking and there was no follow-up on either part after the first date, then it's okay to go your separate ways in silence. Here's five ways to end a bad date in a classy way. Number one, don't order a second drink. Okay, so this one's pretty obvious. This piece of advice is to me from me, but it's a good rule of thumb. While I don't think you should write anyone off 30 seconds into a date, sometimes you just know. When you say no thank you to another round, your date will or at least should follow your lead. Quote, I advise someone to try and stick it out for 30 minutes if it isn't a match but the person is well mannered, says Golden. Quote, I believe in kindness, good manners, and karma. The assumption is that we're all adults and can sit through one drink together and find something to talk about. Are you on a seemingly unending dinner date? Golden recommends discreetly asking your server to bring your check. Servers see it all the time and your date will get the hint as soon as the bill arrives. Number two, make up an excuse. Every movie and TV show from the early days taught us to have a friend on call who can ring us up and say something bad happened. However, I would say that this might not actually be your best bet to ending a date in 2020. First, because cell phones are used for a lot more than just emergencies now. So having your phone on loud or on the table would be super weird and rude for you. Second, you might want to ask yourself how good your acting skills are on a scale of 1 to Meryl Streep, because making up an extreme excuse requires follow through. Quote, for these situations after elapsed time, say, I have an early meeting in the morning that I must prepare for, but it was really nice meeting you, and exit gracefully, says Golden. You don't want to hurt their feelings, but you don't need to stick around either. If you're really in a pickle, Golden told me that there are apps that allow you to fake an incoming call. Another pro tip she shared with me, always have cash on hand so that you can get out of a date without worrying about waiting for the check or Venmoing your date. Pretty smart. Number three, have a very demanding job. So I heard about this story, right? This girl was midway through a date and she found out the guy that she was on a date with was a total racist. He told her that he didn't like the way Asian people talked or the way they smelled. It wasn't that he didn't like loud people or smelly people, he specifically didn't like Asian people and these were the reasons he gave. Shocked, this girl mulled it over and as the date continued for another 30 minutes, at which point she just came up with the bright idea to tell him that her boss had emailed her with a pressing deadline and she just had to go home and write up an article immediately. If you're a freelance journalist, it's a brilliant excuse because the news never stops. But any other equally demanding job can be used as a great excuse to leave, especially if you're working for yourself. Number four, be honest. I've been on dates where the only thing to say is, I'm really sorry, but I have to go. It was nice seeing you. And that's totally fine. It's not an easy thing to say, and all the above excuses are things I've done, so I don't have to be so frank. But generally, being honest is the best, clearest, and least elaborate way to end a bad day. Godspeed. Number five. Try to see the silver lining. Sure, the date didn't end well, maybe you didn't have a romantic connection, but could this person grow into a friendly acquaintance or friend? Honestly, just be curious. You never know. He or she may be an interesting person, even if you're not attracted to him. If, on the other hand, you would never really want to see this person again, just take pride in the fact that you were able to walk away and just save yourself some time, just as importantly, your emotions as well. This, guys, brings us to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, because honestly, this video was pretty interesting. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, please do check out one of the two videos you see on screen right now. I know you'll love them. With that being said, guys, as always, I'll see you next time on Love Frenzy.